Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Pisces for the first half of April tonight. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, that is awesome. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message you give into the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Please keep in mind, though, if it doesn't resonate, um, you can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs, or just forget you ever saw it. It's fine. Just throw it out all together. But time and energy are both fluid, and all things can be vice versa. Keep that in mind when you're trying to make heads or tails of what comes out in the cards. Okay. Okay. I think we're good and mixed up for Pisces. Let you get your cards on the table. Why are you here? Page of Pentacles in the upright. Oh, wow. Small, slow moving offer. It's a message. It could be an apology. Are you feeling a little bit apologetic for something? Or do you feel like you're entitled to an apology from someone? We'll see what it comes out in the rest of the cards. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of Wands in the reverse. You kind of feel like you maybe got knocked off your soapbox. Or you might feel like you knocked them off their soapbox. It's, it's a card of a lack of victory. Knocking the wind out of somebody's sails. What do you think of the person? King of Wands reversed. You think they may have lost passion altogether? Or they don't want to move forward with this? What do you want from them? King of Swords. Okay, you want them to make a logical, non-emotional decision in regards to whatever situation has arisen. All right. Okay. I think this is where the apology comes in. How do they feel about you? The star. <sighs> Y'all put each other through some crap, didn't you? They may feel like they just kind of need their time to heal. Pisces, are you feeling a little apologetic? What do they think of you, Pisces? Five of Wands reversed. They may feel like you're kind of anti-confrontational. Or trying to avoid an argument, maybe. What do they want from you? Six of Cups. They want it to be back the way it was. That is beautiful. What's the challenge? It's the Lover's card. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. I have fire. I got earth. I have a little water. I have a little air. Um star card that's Aquarius. Challenges. This is a connection. I'm not getting where that's a challenge, but we'll get clarity. This is like soulmate crap. I think you guys have played this game before. And maybe not necessarily in this lifetime. What needs to be done? Six of Swords. Forward movement. 
This happens after the change in thought process. This isn't necessarily moving on. It's just moving forward. What's the potential outcome? I'm almost afraid to look at the card. Five of Swords, picking up pieces. Changes in thought process. Okay. I love it when there's not much for me to clarify and it's pretty self-explanatory. I almost don't want to ruin it, but I still have a few questions. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for Pisces, please, for the first half of April? King of Cups. Love and apology. That's an apology that comes from the heart. That is the, I know I done kicked your cup over here. Would you like mine? Because I know I screwed up. Okay. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Just one card. Oh, wow. Seven of Swords popped out immediately. That would be something to apologize for. Knocking the wind out of, knocking the wind out of somebody's sails. Seven of Swords sneaking around, being sneaky. Lies, deception. Sun card popped out, could be a Leo. I feel the connection. You make them happy, but there's just something about this that was fishy. Why's the King of Wands reversed here? popped out. Eight of Wands upright, Nine of Swords reversed. This isn't the opposite of being kept up at night. This is like bat poop bonkers. Seven, eight, nine. Somebody jumped to conclusions. Things ground to a halt because someone jumped to conclusions. I think accusations got thrown out because someone wasn't thinking. Somebody got extremely emotional. And then somebody got emotional back. Why is the King of Swords in the upright here? Thanks. Judgment. They want you to make a non-emotional decision. 
They want you to think logically. And they want to try to bring this back from the dead. Or they want you not to kill it at all. So that's what you want out of them. You don't want them to kill it. Wow. What the hell happened, Pisces? Wow. Why is the star card here? How the other person feels about Pisces? The star card reversed. You threw out accusations because you haven't healed from something. And they feel like you need to. And because you just ripped a hole in their soul for no reason. You punished somebody for something someone else did to you. That's not okay. It's not okay. I'm seeing this. This is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm seeing. Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? I'm, okay, I'm trying not to throw shade. Trying try not to throw accusations myself. And all things can be vice versa. And ultimately, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, before you get all uppity. If it's not vibing with you, it's not your story. That's fine. It's somebody's story. Or I wouldn't be sitting here telling it at 9.30 at night on a Sunday. Five of Wands reversed, Nine of Cups reversed. What they think of you? Try to avoid a conflict. Obviously, you're not emotionally fulfilled. One more. Not only are you not emotionally fulfilled, you're kicking everybody else's cups over at this point. I think this is the intensified reversed Five of Wands because, yes, Five of Swords just popped out. Five of Swords, Five of Swords. This is like World War Three broke out. They think this is World War Three, And pieces are going to have to be picked up. But the conflict needs to stop first. Somebody's cups done got spilled. And then more cups got spilled. I think this very well, if this was a steampunk deck, I would say this happened behind closed doors. Because that's one of the hidden meanings of the Five of Swords. It's something that you didn't see. Nobody else saw it. Nobody else knew about it. Why is six cups here? They want it back the way it was. Okay. Oh, it landed in the upright. They want to fix this. They want to fix this. They want the Ten of Cups ending with you. They want to fix it. They want to make it right. They do. They want to make it right. Challenge here. There's a connection here. Soulmate connection. Why is the lover's card here is the challenge? The lover's reversed. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. You see this? You see this? You seeing this, Pisces? You're not acknowledging it. Somebody here is not acknowledging what this is. This is a powerful, beautiful connection. Somebody's disrespecting the connection.
Why is the Six of Swords here? reversed. Someone's not trusting. What needs to be done is forward movement. But you have to be able to trust each other first. Typically, in a Six of Swords, you see two people in the boat. There's two people in the boat and the driver. There's two people in the boat, typically, and they're letting somebody else steer. They're letting fate, the universe, they're letting themselves be led and guided, anyway. In any other deck, but this one, I'm assuming, because this is really the only Six of Swords I've ever seen, where there's only one person in the boat. You have to be able to trust each other, though. If you can't trust each other, you really don't have a relationship, do you? But you can't just trust someone for something someone else did. Does that make sense? Is that making sense to anybody? Let me know in the comments. It's like you have a third party permanently in your relationship, and there's nobody else involved. except somebody that isn't there anymore. It's really sad when people get that manipulated after, obviously, a very powerful soul connection. If somebody has that kind of a mental mind mangle on you that they're pulling puppet strings after they walked away, or after you walked away, that's not okay. Don't let people manipulate you that bad. Can I get one more on this Six of Swords, please? Nine of Wands. One last push, one last try. One last, one last good go. If you want it, stand up and fight for it. But you have to be able to trust each other. Why is the Five of Swords here as the outcome? Why is the Five of Swords here for the outcome? chariot in the upright. Forward movement. You get in the chariot and go. You pick the pieces up. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's two horses moving forward together and the universe steering. That's how I look at it anyway. It's not how everybody looks at it. The only third party I try to allow in my relationships is the universe. Just saying. Okay. I think we're ready for a little advice. And then I think I'm ready for bed. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Slow down and be patient. Slow down and be patient. The Hierophant and the Alchemist. I love it. You can manifest a beautiful, blessed union out of this. You can, but you have to acknowledge the connection that you're not acknowledging. If you gotta give an apology, if you done kicked over somebody's cup and you gotta refill it, do it. If somebody kicked over your cup and you would like it refilled, have an honest adult conversation. It's really not that hard. 
pick up a phone. You can text and talk on them now. They're really cool. Back. Gosh, I, I don't even want to admit this. 20... Gosh. 20, almost 25 years ago. Yeah. Almost 25 years ago when I first started dating, we didn't have the cool handheld phones back then. No, no. Our phones had a cord that hooked into the wall that was, like, stretched out to be five miles long and you can go anywhere in the house with it. There was barely cell phones back then. There was barely email. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to shut up now. Pisces, you guys are wonderful. About a year ago, when we first rolled this channel out, um, our... our Probably our first huge view was a Pisces video. And it was a Pisces view I almost didn't post. And Pisces, you guys will always hold a special place in my heart. You will. Because of that. Because you gave us here at Fireside and Tarot our, real, our first real shot. And 3,000 of you just jumped on that like white on rice. And I will forever from the bottom of my heart be eternally grateful for that okay thank you so much i am going to close this out i'll probably get up at stupid o'clock in the morning and do the work week top and bottom before i gotta go to work i'm gonna take a nice hot shower and hit the hay i will catch you guys tomorrow for the work week top and bottom and i'll catch you guys in a week week and a half or so for your second half of april reading Catch you later.